This video is a response to the various comments from here. You've been through this story so many times. You wake up on the morning of March 15th, 2032. You eat breakfast, put on your new uniform, head up to the helicopter pad. Waiting for you is a pilot sent by your brother. Today is your first big day. You get to Transtar's Earth-based HQ. Waiting for you is your brother. You, you don't, don't look, look terrible, terrible in a Transtar uniform. uniform. You nod, mentally preparing yourself for the test he's told her to come. The first tests pass by quickly. They're strange, but the scientists on the other side of the glass assure you it's alright. Then, something goes wrong. One of the scientists is killed, and you're gassed. And you remember this time. I ask you what... Uh... Something's different. Outside your room, you find a wrench, dropped by an unfortunate mechanic who died of something you can't describe. The elevator doesn't work, so you break the window. Everything is different. You begin your trip through the space station of Talos-1. It's been overrun by the same thing that attacked the scientists. You make it to your office. The office of another Morgan Yu has a message from the other you. Tough, Tough day, day, right? If I'm, if I'm talking, talking to myself, myself it must be. be. The other Morgan tells you what your brother's done. How he put you in a simulation for weeks. You want to know why. And then the video stops. And you have your first conversation with your brother. I just thought I found every one of those damn videos. Sorry, but I can't let you listen to that. Not until I've had a chance to explain everything in person. For now, just... Damn it. I have to go. Just sit tight. Please. It always comes back to Alex. You fight your way through Talos 1, doing what you have to do to survive. Hundreds of people have died to the aliens. As you go, you find some still alive, against all odds. You help them where you can. You kill them where you must. You discover the truth behind Talos 1 and your brother. You learn of the inhuman experiments done here. You learn that the other Morgan helped. He tells you that you need to destroy the station, taking the Typhon with it. Alex has other ideas. He stops you at every turn, preventing you from ending this madness. Eventually, you find a way to get around your brother's obstacles. At last, you force him out of hiding with the last piece of the plan resting in his grasp. He still sees you as his brother, but not the same one he knew. He talks a big game, trying to remind you of what you used to be. But you're not the same person anymore. You know you're not. You know the side effects of the testing you are doing. You are no longer Morgan. You aren't the same man in the glass. You aren't the Morgan who killed all of those people. Right as Alex is about to make his grand final point, everything goes from wrong to impossible. Space rips, and a colossal typhon emerges and begins to feast on the ghostly coral that's been building up around the station. Alex is wrong. But Alex also gave me a device to save the station and everyone on it. A gigantic, psychic blast called a no wave. It's time to make a choice. You destroy the station. You plant the no wave. Finally, it's over. And then, it's not. Alex stands before you as the device draws back from your head. It's his last chance to make things right. He knows what he did was wrong. He knows what you've seen. He understands that you might see him as a monster. He doesn't care. Now is the time to grow a pair and commit. Alex Yu looks at you and sees everything he's done to make amends in the body of a Typhon Phantom. He shows you why. He makes a big show of an empathy test. They're lying to you. 
And then he removes your constraints and holds out his hand. He knows the risks. Before, he wouldn't have taken them. He's grown now, though. He understands that unless he takes the first step, there can never be trust. He holds out his hand. You look at it. He sees you as Morgan, his lost brother. You see him as Alex, the successor to the kingdom of torture that Morgan built. He lied to you. He created you. He gave you the ability to judge. Which will you choose?